Hello, this is Lisa, Lisa Martin with Olympic Cellars Winery. Welcome, we're gonna tell you the story about how we make wine out of these beautiful locally grown grapes. These grapes are grown less than 10 minutes away from the Olympic Cellars Winery. Vineyard owners Pam and Dennis Dundas train all of the volunteers on how to pick the grapes. The volunteers come from all over Washington State. The sign up here that Pam put together shows which grapes to pick and which grapes not to pick. Once they get their education, they start picking. Two thousand fourteen was a bumper crop for Dungeness Valley Vineyard. And Dennis actually miscalculated the number of picking bins he would need. Partway through the harvest, he had to call the winery for a delivery of more bins. In the meantime, picking continued until every bucket and tub on the property was full. Finally, he showed up with more bins and they continued picking until they were completely done and all of the vines were stripped clean. This vineyard produced 3.5 tons of grapes in 2014. It was a bumper crop. While his volunteers enjoy a delicious homemade harvest lunch prepared by Pam of stew, breads, and wine as a thank you for all of their hard work. The grapes were loaded up onto the truck and delivered to the winery where winemaker Greg Vogtritter takes over the processing of the grapes. Our press holds one ton of grapes and each pressing cycle takes one and a half hours. Just pressing the grapes is a full day's worth of work. Once at the winery, the grapes are pressed gently, whole berry rather than crushed and then pressed. This creates a more delicate finished product with less tannins. Greg's wife, Sasha, works as his assistant to clean all of the equipment spotlessly. Greg collects a sample of the grape juice to run some basic analysis. He checks the sweetness of the juice using a hydrometer. Sweetness is measured in bricks. The juice is allowed to settle for 24 hours. After settling, Greg introduces a nutrient and then transfers it into a fermentation tank. Greg activates the yeast in warm water before it is used to inoculate the juice. Finally, the yeast is added to the juice. Fermentation can take up to two weeks. After fermentation, the wine is aged until the spring when it is bottled. Our Madeleine Angevin wine is best enjoyed young. This light, crisp, and refreshing wine was released in May of 2015 after winning a bronze medal at the Women's International Competition. <music>